Our lives are filled with reconstructed reality, whether it's on Instagram, reality shows, whatever, we're used to things being glossy. I start with harmony, and I start with beauty and perfection, and then I mess it up badly. I throw things off on purpose. I'm looking for the ugly in the frame, because that's what's real. I'm Ann Crabtree. I'm the costume designer of The Handmaid's Tale. I never studied costume design. I studied fashion design in New York. You know, I studied Shakespeare. I studied art. I fell in love with cinema, and so that was my education, and I became a fashion stylist. That was great experience for doing this job, <laughs> because literally, I have not stopped in 25 years from working six days a week, 18 to 20 hour days. This is our think tank building place. I'm given a pretty wide berth in most jobs visually, and often I'll come on, for instance, this one so early that I have to create the world so I can have a dialogue with the DP or with the production designer. When I sit down with Bruce, our show's creator, and Reed, who was our first three directors, we take rules from the book that were written, and then we take rules from the scripts that are in there, but often for costumes, those aren't in the lines. That's something that I have to dream up. We wanted this show to be organic and not a heavy, rusty, dusty costume drama. And so the way that I approached it was, first, by color. How do you find that perfect shade of red for every skin tone? Because I'm mixed, and in the middle, I put everything on me. We tried to find a beautiful complement that also had a lot of tension. The reds and the blues are opposite of each other. I try to think of the actor first. I try to think of the scene first, and what's the frame gonna be, and then I design it. I like to have fittings which are actually frame-specific and character-specific. Imagine that you're there, sitting with Off Glen One. So I think about what are the possibilities, visually. Can someone actually physically do the scene in this? How does it look from above? How does it look from the back? And you're saying, I'm gonna leave the scene now. That should be just as beautiful as the front. My typical day, I would say, has never changed in all of my years working. At this moment, we're shooting four and five, but we're prepping six and seven. We have 15 people on set and in here on a day when we have 100 handmaids out on the field, plus guardians, plus ants, it might grow to 25 or more. This is so rapid, this is so fast. We're making things that are gonna work at 5 a.m. tomorrow. What if a button doesn't work? I'm obsessively going around to each tailor's table. Are you still on schedule? Have they changed the schedule? Have they changed the story? Have they recast? We are so lucky to have this job. My parents came from factory work. That's work. Yes, it is glamorous, yes. It's awesome to talk to a Dustin Hoffman or an Elizabeth Moss, but you better be ready to work your booty off <laughs> and you better love it while you're there. I can tell on any film, painting, TV show, novel, when someone really didn't want to be there and dialed it in. And I never want to be that person.